All right, welcome everyone. I am Rajneesh Gupta, and with me, Jamin Patak is here. Um, this is again another mock interview, and um, I see a lot of comments, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really happy to see that it's really getting helpful for everyone. Uh, uh, today, we are also going to do one more mock interview. Um, we, yeah, of course, we are keep doing it. So the process is going to be same. Uh, Jamin will be the interviewer. I'll be the interviewee. He will ask me questions, and based on my answers, uh, he might ask some uh, counter questions as well. Okay. So the format will be same. Uh, uh, first, I'll answer some direct answers. First, I'll give some direct answers. At the end, I'll go in detail and give you some detailed ex explanation as well. So without taking much time, let's get started. Hello, Jamin. How are you? I'm good. How are uh, you, Adish? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me here. You're welcome. So let's get started. Sure. So, Rajesh, my first question is about uh, TCP. What uh -huh. is TCP IP three-way handshake? Uh, well, uh, TCP IP three-way handshake is useful to establish the connection uh, between the uh, client and the server. Okay, so this is this is applicable for the client-server communication. So before the actual data can be sent, the TCP three-way handshake need to be established. Okay, in this in this TCP three-way handshake, the first client sent the send uh, message, uh, basically TCP packet with sin flag set to it okay so with tcp packet there are multiple flags but sin flag is about synchronization so this means like uh, you know requesting that yes i want to talk to you so the client send the request to the server first now this tcp packet with sin flag set goes to the server and it also have or also consists of some more information like uh, sequence number uh acknowledge number uh because it's uh it's a first packet it's not an acknowledgement so it's set to zero uh now this goes to the server server will acknowledge it by by replying a tcp packet with acknowledge flag set to it uh, additionally it also set the send flag that saying that yes i also want to talk to you now this goes to the client and finally the client acknowledge the packet okay acknowledge the earlier sent packet which was sent by the server so at the end the client send the acknowledgement and this send synac and ac completes the three way handshake after that the actual traffic goes through the network so yeah okay great got it so my next question is, uh, what are other TCP flags? Uh, you mean uh, other than what I just yes, what I than, we uh, just Syn Synac and AC. Okay. So other than that, uh, there are some more uh, flags. Uh, you know, we have, uh, as far as I remember, we have uh, we have RST, which is like reset flag. Uh, we have a fin flag as well, which is to finish the session, which is to terminate the session. Um, we also have urgent flag as well, uh, which is to send the data on urgent basis. That's, you know, prioritizing the data. Uh, we have push flag as well, which is like, uh, which is to, uh, which is to prioritize, which is to inform the receiver that you know, uh, uh, take this data uh, without taking it to the buffer. Okay, so this is also kind of prioritizing the packet as well. So these are some of the other flags. So there are total six flags, three which we have talked earlier, uh, including sin uh, acknowledgement, and uh, we have fin flag, we have urgent flag, we have uh, a push flag as well. So yeah, these are the these are the other flags. Okay, got it. So, yeah, what is the difference between RST and fin flag? Okay, RST. RST is like reset. 
So when we say reset, that means we are restarting the session. So it's it's kind of abruptly terminating the session. Okay. So when someone send the uh, RST flag, that means he want to restart the session or you know terminate the session uh, immediately. But finish or fin flag is like finish flag. It's a it's a gradual process. If you say uh, fin flag, that means you want to terminate the session. You don't want to restart. You want to terminate the session. So again, you go with the uh, proper handshake and uh, you terminate the session. You will set fin, finac, and acknowledgement. So that's again a gradual termination of the session. So that's that's the difference. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So have you worked on uh, Wireshark? Yes, I, I worked with it, yes. So when you're analyzing the packet capture, and if you see TCP transmission in the packet, uh -huh. what does it mean? OK, TCP retransmission. Um, well, uh, what happened is TCP uh, packet has got uh, sequence number and acknowledgment. So whenever any any device, client, or server send in a packet, it need to it, it require an acknowledgement. Okay. So if I don't receive an acknowledgement, it means the packet is not uh, is not being received by the recipient. So keeping that in mind, the sender will uh, retransmitting that packet. Okay. So it could it could be possible in case of let's say packet drop or poor connection or slow connection that uh, packet might have got dropped in between because of the poor connection or wire, wire poor wireless network so in that case my packet might have got dropped so the recipient might not have received that so uh, and um, I, it might not be able to send the acknowledgement maybe and acknowledgement might have got dropped so there could be a lot of possibility but if the sender uh, could not receive the acknowledgement, it will keep sending the same packet. And that's where we see the TCP retransmission. So yeah, in the Wireshark, we see that as TCP retransmission message again in a key. So yeah. Great, great, it's uh, wonderful. So this is all I have for uh, today's questions. Okay, sure, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amin. Um, so sure. now it's time for a detailed explanation. Uh, you know, I'll let me share my screen and take you to a detailed explanation of what is TCP. So here we are. Now uh, you can see on on your uh, on your uh, on my screen basically what happened is TCP packet. This is the entire packet basically. And uh, when we talk about OSI model, the TCP packet resides on the layer four. Okay, this is where you get the TCP packet. And technically speaking, the data on the t layer four is not called is not a packet. It's basically a segment. Although I've been saying packet, packet, but it's a segment. Okay, the t the information resides on the layer four is called uh, a segment. The information resides on the layer three is called packet. Layer two it is called frame. If I'm not wrong. Okay, so you can see on the uh, on the layer four we have a uh, two day information. First is the header. This is header, and this is the actual data. Okay, and this goes into the data uh, data portion of the IP packet. So it's kind of encapsulation. So all, all the data, uh, this layer four data become a layer four information become part of the layer three data and the layer three data become part of layer three data become part of the layer two data uh, but it also has its own header at the end right so you can see the it adds the header but the layer four data becomes the ip data okay so you can see the tcp segment we have a source port source port detail which is the 16-bit address and a destination port which is again 16-bit address okay and we also have a sequence number. Now, sequence number is to track every segment. It's to track every information, and uh, which is again four byte address. And there is an acknowledgement number as well. So, 
the acknowledged number it decided based on the sequence number. So if I send the sequence number 10,000, so the acknowledgement number would be sent by the recipient as 10,001. So that's that's what that's how it is getting tracked. Okay. And whenever recipient or a server, if you remember uh, while answering the question TCP3 handshake, I talked about uh, send flag and acknowledgement flag, right? So if it is a client, because TCP uh, three band checks start with the client, right? So it will first send the TCP packet by keeping sin flag set. So it will set the sin flag as one, okay? While keeping everything, uh, everything else as zero, all the other flags will be zero. When the server received it, it's also create a TCP packet and it will send the acknowledgement and send flag at one. Whereas everything will be zero. And finally, the acknowledgement will be set to one by the client. Okay. So that's how it has been accomplished. Now, we also talked about the reset flag, which is here. We talked about the uh, fin flag, which is here. Uh, push, uh, push flag, as I said, it's to make sure if it is said that the receiving data, the receiving data is requesting to push the data directly to the receive, receiving uh, application without without any buffering, okay? So that's again a kind of prioritization. And when you talk about urgent, that means you want to get this data on the, uh, you want to get this data processed on the urgent basis. So that's where you, you know, use that feed. Finally, you have option and padding, which is used for a better, uh, you know, it's used for multiple other purposes, and based on that, the uh, TCP data can vary from 20 uh, byte. If the option is not there, if option is there, it would be 40 byte, and that's how it can range. It can also go to 60 bytes as well. So that's how the entire packet size is, may vary. Okay. Uh, then we have window size, uh, which says how window size controls the amount of data that can be sent. It's like a flow control. So specify the size of the data that receiver can receive or can accept. Okay. And uh, that's how the entire process really works. And uh, urgent pointer talks about the urgency, indicates the urgency needed by the data and must be received as soon as possible. Okay. So this is how the TCP packet uh, really looks like. And um, I hope you got the idea. If you have any question uh, about this question, uh, about this mock interview, do let, let us know in the comment. Uh, let us know how, how you know, if, if is there anything else we can improve on. And if you have any of your question, uh, uh, interview question that we could answer, do let us know in the comment. Um, we would be happy to hear them. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, this is me, Rajneesh Gupta, and Jamin Patak signing off. Bye bye.